Okay then. Uh, so one or two videos about creating some tracks for the channel. This won't be all the tracks, the only tracks used, but just a starting point. And then the, there's some shows work for that want just like it can be, there can be sports. I've had stuff on NFL, just simple, uh, just simple, simple beats, simple sort of hip hop edge. And, and then like, not crazy, you know, like it's gotta have a little bit of energy, uh, not over the top. Right. I show you some things I've been doing uh, that I had some references for the talk show. So I'm trying to stay within those guidelines. So it's sort of a, a hip hop edge with some synthy elements and plucks and stuff. So it's not like over there. We're not going like gangster. You know what I mean? Um, here's an example. Here's an example, something we might do. Something that also, because it's not like, not like old school ice cube, how you like me now, that kind of vibe, but just something that works underneath the videos, right? Underneath dialogue. That's the whole point of these, right? So let's go for a different vibe. Since I have completely whole new set of instruments pulled up, 808s and drums, arps, and a couple different basses, right? Some pads. And so we could start with a good old hi-hat. Eighth notes, all right? Make it snap to the nearest eighth note. Snap, hey, how, I haven't said snap before on the channel, hi bye. Uh, often what works well, just a, a good punchy low kick drum, not a lot of length and resonance, and then a nice little, nice little just, uh, um, light, dry claps. So let's try something. Now that should be the nearest 16th. Let's see. Let's see if I played close enough that it lands on the 16th, shall we? fourth, 16th note of the bar, is it not? Okay. Okay. We have a framework, do we not? Again, I have this turned down a little bit low. So I don't have to wear headphones and it's all up in the mic the whole time. We'll see, we'll see, won't we? Maybe not quite that uh, emotional. See if that lands on the 16th. We could do that, right? That's it. 
we don't need to follow every kick hit with that, do we? Uh, we'll try that. Uh, remember, a key component to creating, I think to creating anything, uh, don't let any apprehension about, is this going to suck? Does this work? You know, you learn and learn more, more and more what works, what doesn't, what will likely work, but still have an attitude of, uh, of experimentation. Like, just do it. Just keep moving. And then if you're like, it doesn't work, you can go change the sound, change the pattern, erase it, whatever, right? Right, let's quantize it. Make sure it's snapping to the nearest 16th. <laughs> right. Um, uh, move on. As I pull out another thing with movement. Oopsies, too low, too low. Why you don't hear it? Okay, there we are. There we are. Let's quantize her and give her a listen, shall we? It's like it's interacting. The pluck and the uh, sort of arp are interacting. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm making peace with it, okay? Um, we might do that. Um, 
my apologies, I have alarms to remind me to do things like pay the mortgage because I think I have ADD. <sighs> Sorry about that. Um, so what this synth line does is sort of glue together. It fills the space a bit, just one simple tone, nice, calm, little buzzy synth. And we can decide, we can mix later, we can decide how much do we want to make that edgier? Do we want to make it re re give some reverb, push it back? Do we want to carve out some of the low end so it's just up there, you're just hearing the higher part of it? We can make that decision later when we mix, but I think this might help, or might at least, if we, we want that sort of glue in place, that's what we're doing. Um, I was kind of holding over a couple of notes. Maybe we'll, pull, we'll play the melody, the actual melody. Right, right. Um, I think that'll work. Why don't we do? Why don't we think about what, 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 what can we do next? I think that's a good starting point for that one. Uh, if you want to check out another one, maybe at least one more, uh, see me in the next video. And thank you for watching. All right, catch you later.